Yo, what's up boys? Today in this video we're going to talk about the problem that we have with EA FC Mobile. Guys, I know that the game is not doing uh, really good recently and in this video I'm going to explain why is this happening. As you can see, my team is pretty, pretty decent. But what is the reason for that? Because I'm spending money for the game. But what is happening for all of you guys? that cannot spend money for the game you cannot afford a players like this in my team for example this Mo Salah card is extremely extremely expensive on the market all of my players are extremely expensive on the market all of those training levels require a lot of coins millions of coins and the normal players that just want to enjoy the game and have some fun they will not be able to afford all of those players as you can see on the market there are so many problems with this game guys the events are super super boring guys just look at this event it's extremely terrible i'm not playing the events guys those cards bro what am i going to do with this card guys please tell me what am i going to do with this carrasco card what i'm going to do bro just look at my team bro what am I going to do with this Carrasco card or any other 87 or 88 overall players? Of course, I will not do anything with any of those cards. This Rafa Varane card is not usable, guys. Even for all of you guys, maybe this Rafa Varane card is not usable because a lot of you probably have 90, 91, 92 overall teams. And this card is not usable for you guys. It's super difficult to pack good players. As you can see here in the store, we have a lot of packs. Yeah, okay, we have a lot of packs. Farming gems is a lot easier than the last FIFA Mobile. In the beginning of this FC Mobile, the gems pack were actually decent and I was packing some really really interesting and expensive players from the gems packs, but they nerfed the gems packs and now we have only only packs for FC points bro the only good packs are those packs for FC points look at this guys look at this everything is for FC points everything everything here in the division rivals you have to get a lot of uh, division rivals points a lot of competitive points but what do you need to win those points you need to be high in the divisions but bro how can you be high in the divisions if you if you don't have good team bro versus attack is the most pay to win Thing in this game you need to have 96 overall team so you can achieve AFC champion it's extremely boring guys this is literally the worst mode in verse stack no bro I forgot about major mode major mode is literally the worst mode in the game I'm not even playing this mode because it's super pay to win you need a good team to win the games uh, the same thing here in verse attack literally if you don't have over 92 overall team you're gonna be screwed nothing you can do about it here in head to head okay maybe this is the most skillful game mode that you that you can play but of course you need to rank up your players and to train them bro you need to train your players to have stats like this Dimitri Verbatov card it's extremely disgusting one more thing that is super disgusting is the market guys now we're gonna have a new event uh, I think Captains is gonna be the new event and I want to buy uh, the new Switch of card that is going to be uh, released he's gonna be 94 overall and I really big Chris Twitch fan so I'm going to buy him but no bro I'm not going to buy him if I don't give money because what is happening on the market I'm trying to sell this Garincha card from three weeks and I cannot sell him bro I cannot sell him look at the price here guys a lot of people hundreds of people are trying to sell this card but no the price is rising up the price is going higher why the hell is the price going higher when people are trying to sell him literally when people are trying to sell this card the price has to go down why is the price not going down and i cannot get those millions of coins from this garincha card i bought the 95 version of garincha and i used one mascherano card to upgrade him and now i cannot sell him because of this stupid market bro i want to afford the new switch card but i have i have only uh, 12 million coins and I realized that I'm not getting coins when I'm not giving money because we have the only packs that we have free to play are the rewards from 
uh, the division rivals and they are terrible because I've never packed something decent from those rewards. Yeah, I packed some really interesting things here in the division rivals, but you have to have uh, a lot of uh, competitive points. And uh, if you don't have uh, those competitive points, you're not going to pack anything. The pack work is terrible, guys. And the market is not only bad for selling, but is bad for buying. Because why? Look at this Cristiano Ronaldo card. It's 99999 plus on the market. And he's stuck at this price for weeks, bro. For literally weeks. And you cannot buy him, bro. Look at the price. He was, I think, uh, 140 million coins stuck. And now he's stuck at uh, 119 million coins. Why EA Sport just fix this? You can fix this. I remember this problem in the last FIFA Mobile, FIFA Mobile 23. I remember this problem. Look at the same thing again with those cars. They are just stuck. Look at Balk. He stuck at 90 million coins. Uh, maybe I'm not going. I'm not going to be able to afford this Christo Twitchkov card because, as you can see, he's gonna be uh, 94 overall and. This Neymar card is stuck at 90 million coins and probably this Twitchkov card is going to be stuck at 90 million coins. I'm not going to be able to buy him, bro. This is terrible. EA Sports, fix the freaking market. Why is the price not going up when people are trying to buy those cards? Look at this Thierry Henry card. No one is able to buy him. You have to buy some of those cards that are even more expensive. And I promise you guys not a lot of people can afford those cards even me and i'm get i'm i'm making a uh, huge pack openings i'm giving a lot of money maybe over 500 dollars for pack openings because i have a youtube channel i've never spent a single cent for this game if i didn't have a youtube channel i'm only doing this for the content so i can make you happy guys so i hope that you're really going to appreciate uh, that i'm giving money for this stupid game uh, it's not stupid game guys I, I i love this i love this game bro the game has so much potential but ea sports are wasting this potential we can see some pretty pretty decent things in the game the game literally has so much potential we need more competitive mods the most competitive mod is head to head we can have foot champions or fc champions i'm not going i'm not i, I don't know how they're going to call it but just add uh daily not daily but weekly rewards like it's in the normal uh fc mo uh, eafc because they have foot champions and they're getting rewards every single week for playing uh in the foot uh, champions and this literally something that we can have in the game and uh for example one more thing that we can have is drafts why don't we have drafts bro from fifa mobile 17 till now how many years i don't know seven eight nine years we don't have drafts why we don't have drafts bro this is this has to be the literally the mobile version of the uh, pc version the console version but no we don't have drafts we don't have player picks okay they added power shots which which is really interesting this gives us some hope that they're gonna add some things that we have in the pc version but i don't know bro why don't we have career mode they've literally got all the licenses of the football teams as you can see we have robertson liverpool the kids the the logos of those teams the leagues premier league the spanish league the italian league the saudi pro league with al nasser and cristiano ronaldo they have everything they have a lot of national teams they need to add a lot of a lot more national teams because i remember that pes uh, had all of the european national teams even san marino even Liechtenstein all of the national teams in europe and the kids and the players everything boys so it's possible but ea sports have to do it they have to invest money bro they have to stop thinking about making money because this is the only thing that they are thinking about because this game is the most paid to win game that i've ever seen in my entire life it's not a problem for me because i can afford to spend money on packs I, I, I can say it one more time, I'm only doing this for the content, if uh, I, I, I hadn't had a YouTube channel, I wouldn't do this guys, so uh, but this is literally the most paid to win game in the world, if they focus on making uh, the best possible football simulator for, for mobile, maybe this is the best possible football game, but they can do even better because I know they can do better bro, but they just don't want to and i don't understand if you focus on making better game you're gonna get more revenue more money from the game 
I hope that they understand this and not only try to give us stupid events, stupid rewards so we can pay money for their game and they do nothing because there are a lot of things to improve. They're too lazy to upgrade to, enter, to make the market better and how it has to be. No, they're doing nothing for the market. They're too lazy to do this. Why do why people are going to give money for this game when they are lazy to do to fix the freaking market, bro? I cannot sell this Garincha card for weeks, bro. And I need the coins, bro. Literally need the coins. They literally need the coins because this Christmas Twitch of card is gonna be released. And I will not be able to afford him because he's gonna be stuck at 90 million coins. And I will not be able to buy him because they can't fix the market and I cannot get the coins. And even if I get the coins, it's not 100% sure that I can afford to buy this uh, Switch of card because it's gonna be stuck. And if there are 1000 people before me trying to buy this card, it's gonna be nearly impossible to buy this uh, Switch of card. And this is really, really sad, guys. I don't know what to say about this game. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this game. And uh, guys, thank you so much for the support. We are super close to 1000 subscribers. And I'm gonna be so happy if you subscribe for the channel. And uh, if you agree with me, make sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for the support, guys. And see you in the next video.